Hi guys. Good morning. I am starting a new vlog. Today is Friday. What's the date? January 8th. <laughs> um, I'm heading... I got off of work a little bit early. Um, all the kids programs are virtual right now because of the holiday. They kind of like... I think they're just learning from home this week because... If they would have been exposed to the coronavirus during the holidays, like this would have been the two week incubation period. So they just wanted to be safe and do everything at home this week. So, um, <clears throat> teen center and stuff is virtual. So yeah, I am, it's, did I tell you the time? It's 10.30. Oliver has a vet appointment at 10.40. So I'll be there probably in like three minutes. Um, because he's been having like, this happened to him, I want to say either last year or the year prior, where he just got like super, super congested nasally, like in his nose and like was snoring a lot and like a lot more than normal and just making like weird noises, like really having a hard time breathing. That's why I have my mask on because I just left and I'm going to just probably put it back on as soon as I pull up, even though it's curbside. Anyways, so he's like having this hard time breathing like gasping, like it's not a hard time breathing, it's just like, you know when you have a cold and your nose is stuffed so you breathe out of your mouth? He's not panting, but like he'll gasp a little bit and he's like sneezing more, reverse sneezing more and just like, I can tell he's not feeling 100%, like he's just not, his appetite's not all the way there, His um, he's more tired than usual, so I'm gonna bring him to the vet and see if, see what they say. I know last time this happened, they just gave him like a course of antibiotics for sinus infection, basically, and he was good. So I'm hoping it's the same kind of thing now. Um, this headband I'm wearing is like padded and it's like hitting the, so it's like thick, so it's like head, hitting the freaking top of the car. <laughs> Love that for me. So yeah, um, I'm trying to maintain my positive mindset not letting the small things bother me just trying to really be in a positive headspace I have basically every single day so far since Monday which I mean it's only been five days but like <laughs> hello progress I have gotten up and out of bed <clears throat> up and out of bed by 8 a.m. I've made the bed every single morning by 8 30 and have had like productive days so we're doing good for ourselves. Um, I don't know, I just like made it a goal of mine to get ready every single day and even if I'm not leaving the house, like just put a little bit of makeup on. Obviously not today because I was in um, not my house, so I didn't even bring makeup, but it just makes me feel better. Like if I'm up early, get ready, get dressed, like change out of loungewear, put on a real bra, <laughs> um, I just feel like I'm, good for the day like ready to go so that is my goal and I've been doing pretty well so far so yeah I figured I'd give you an update uh, I'm about to pull up actually the vet's literally only two minutes away from where I worked so I'll let you guys know what's going on when he comes out just picked Oliver back up from the vet I mean I didn't leave I just sat in the parking lot he does have a sinus infection with like upper nasal congestion nothing in the chest which is perfect his lungs sounded clear <laughs> Um, and they did a heartworm test, which was negative, and yeah, he's all the way, like, he's up to date on all his vaccines and everything, so they gave us a seven-day supply of antibiotics for him, it's azithromycin, which is so funny, because that's literally what I take when I'm sick, and yeah, I'm gonna head home now, it's 12 o'clock, I'm gonna be home by around, like, 1.15, 1 30 and then we'll see what's going on i don't know what dan's got planned i think i know he's working today so i don't know he did make some progress on the barn door i think he caulked it and it's like ready for paint so we may have a barn door this by this weekend fingers crossed so yeah
day it's still friday i did think of what time it was um i am just painting some canvases i painted two canvases the other night but i didn't show you guys and they're hanging on my walls in my bedroom and i don't like the way they look they look weird so i'm trying a different look today um the ones i did upstairs i'll show you when i go up tonight they're like sun and moon pictures i don't like the color scheme i don't know something about it is just like not me so i'm making some more i just painted the canvases this like vanilla oh sorry my camera's going out of focus this like vanilla color with um some tape i just mixed a bunch of colors guys i can't even tell you what colors um and then i made this like corally like terracotta like light terracotta color and this is my inspiration let me show you <laughs> my phone case kind of but hold on like that but without the leaves so i want to make like this one and then this one for the other one this is how it turned out i've been sitting here perseverating um on if i want to color in this one that has the dots because the dots are making me ill <laughs> i don't know they just they're making me sick ew i hate them so i think i'm gonna color in this part the warmer shade because i don't fuck with the dots okay this is much this is much better i don't know do you guys ever get that like also the freaking green walls in here are making everything look green have like a green tint but that's much better <laughs> Although there is still the texture of the polka dots. So when it dries, I'll probably do one more coat of the darker red tone. Love. And then for that one, I'm just going to do like half moon, basically, shapes. Like um, alternating. Okay, clearly I can't speak. But guess what just got delivered? I placed an order because I saw your guys' comments saying you missed my try-on hauls. So, you know, I had to try a new brand. I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of plus size clothing brands that I feel like I still have yet to try. So I ordered from Miss Guided. I'm excited. So that haul will definitely be up on Wednesday. You guys will see this first. But yeah, I ordered it from Miss Guided. I'm like very excited. I don't want to open it until... I film though because I feel like it just makes it better like I'm still like I get like excited about the clothes if they work out you know what I mean so I'm gonna leave that there <laughs> I did also get a Sephora package in the mail um, I got a Sephora gift card for Christmas from Dan's brother and his wife fiance but I'm calling her his wife because she's about to be his wife um, but I ordered my most favorite moisturizer ever Hold on, let me open it. Let me get a knife. Okay, hi, hello, bad lighting. Um, so I ordered some stuff from Sephora. Um, I had gotten this sample of this moisturizer from either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I don't get BoxyCharm anymore, but my mom got Ipsy. So I got BoxyCharm and she got Ipsy, but she would never, she'd never really like use her Ipsy stuff. So she sometimes would just give it to me. Um, and I can't remember if this came in ipsy or boxy charm but it was the super berry oh the brand is youth youth to the people um and it's a super berry hydrate and glow dream mask overnight mask um it has vitamin c squalene hyaluronic acid in it it is freaking bomb packaging looks like this And it is just so good. So you can use it as, I use it every day, like every night. You can use it as an overnight moisturizer or you can use it as a, um, like moisture mask. But it says how to use at night, apply an even layer to freshly cleanse skin and then head into dreamland. Use nightly for best results. It really is a really good moisturizer. Like it makes your skin super glowy. It really makes your skin like super, super glowy and pretty and it just has good ingredients in it. So I love this moisturizer. I'm so happy that I was able to get a full size one. Um, I don't even know how much this costs. I wanna say around $40, 38 to $40, I think, but it's really a good product. Um, I also picked up some of the ordinary stuff cause I was just running out. I got the absorbic acid, 8%, alpha arbutin, 2%. I haven't tried this one. 
What did it say it was for? Not sure. I read, oh, visibly targets hyperpigmentation, dark spots, uneven tone, and signs of age. So I got that. I also got the absorbable ascorbyl, ascorbyl glucoside solution 12%, which is a brightening serum, which targets dullness, uneven tone, signs of aging. So I have a lot of like acne spots, like scars. Let me see. Like just little marks here around my mouth and areas that I feel like could definitely be lightened. That was like my thought process when ordering some new skincare. I also got the Pi Pisnogenal. Pisonogenal. Pisnogenal. Not sure. Uh, this is antioxidant support. So it just kind of like supports your serums and stuff. And I think that was it. Yep. I got a sample of It Cosmetics CC Cream, which I love. And I got a sample of the moisturizer and a sample of Ule Henriksen C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. So we love samples. Oh, also, I saw on TikTok because hello, I'm obsessed. Guys, I literally was like debating the other day of like making a TikTok, but then I started to do it and I was like, I literally am embarrassing my soul. So I couldn't, but um, I saw that e.l.f. came out with like a hydrating CC cream, full coverage CC cream, which compares really well to the It Cosmetics CC cream. And I'm a big fan of that. So I did order the e.l.f. Cosmetics one from Target. So I'll have to pick that up tomorrow. So we can try it together and see if it's good or not. But yeah, that's what I got from Sephora. It's Saturday morning. We've been up for some time. We just did a little cleanup. I have to vacuum the floor still, but me and Dan were standing in this kitchen making toast. And we like flipped out because some guy started like walking by the door. And <laughs> we didn't like, flip it. We were like, what? I saw his shadow first and I'm like, what the fuck is that? So then I turn around and this guy is just like on our front steps over here and he has this package. Yes, this package here. And you'll never believe what it is. Dan is very, very excited about it. So. Go ahead, open it. I'm excited. I was telling Gabriella about the bougiest one available. Mm -hmm. He needs the most booze. Let's see. A box within a box. Vicky. <laughs> is excited. I know she is. Alright, guys. Oh, yes. This is like dad stuff. Like, this is literally like, you know you're old when. You get the bougiest pooper scooper. <laughs> Screaming. Oh, out there. Look at that. Well, you don't stand a chance now. Yeah. Actually, that is kind of cool. It is, isn't it? Just grabs the shit. It's like a nature's miracle one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks, Amazon. Guys, it's the Louis Vuitton of pooper scoopers. It is. Excuse the essential oil stains here. I was trying to had a little mishap. He um some diffusers this morning, so I was replacing the little wallflowers and one was stuck, so I was like, Dan, this is stuck, can you get it? And he's like, ow, it hurts my hands. So he brought it out to the garage. <laughs> and the next thing I know he comes in, he's like, it's broken. I'm like, you mean you broke it? And he's like, yeah. And then the oil got all over him and now he's chasing a little around the house with a pooper super. So ridiculous. <laughs> so guess where we'll be going later today to replace that one? Oh. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, hold on, wait. Let me back out of the shower. I have like too many masks on my thing here. And I cannot see. I'm on the way to Bath and Body Works. Dan's brother and wife ended up stopping by to they went to, um, oh my God, of course I'm blanking on the name, Cooperstown. Like I guess an area around there, it's like a cabin for New Year's, just them. And they brought back some beer from a brewery for Dan. So that was nice. I got ready. I like, it was nice. I cleaned the house. Well, we cleaned the house, Dan helped me. Um, and then, whew, and then I like, 
his brother came over we said we did our little thing for like a half an hour I got in the shower I did like a nice relaxing Sunday night shower where like I exfoliated it was just like a good shower because typically I feel like I'm rushing in the shower because like I'm showering because I have to go somewhere or something like that so this was just like nice I took like a nice half hour 40 40 minute shower and like did my thing um, and then I just decided to get ready I have been loving doing my hair with these hot rollers now they're not hot rollers they're velcro rollers that I got from Target they're literally like they just give you so much volume so I'll just use my like Revlon um, hair dryer like all in one hair dryer and then I just put two rollers like one back here on the crown and then one for my bangs and do my makeup whatever let that like cool down and set and then I take it down and it just looks like a really nice blowout so that's what I did I have some extensions in I did my makeup I don't know I just was like let's get it together so it's four o'clock now so we took I took the whole morning to an afternoon to just like chill I'm kind of hungry I ate breakfast at like 10 o'clock <laughs> and have any incense so I don't know what the plan is for dinner um Dan and I got into a little argument, so I'm just gonna go run some errands on my own, which is fine and normal. Like, I want everyone to know, like, arguments and bickering with, like, your significant other is normal. Not everything is always sweet and loving and, like, you know, peachy keen all the time. Real couples get into arguments. And I don't know, for me, like, I like to take space to myself and, like, do my own thing, cool down a little bit, like, get my thoughts collected and then I can like work it out and talk about it but like I'm not someone who can get so mad and then be right around that person and like talk about it because like I'm just too hot-headed so I figured I would just like do my own thing and go to Bath and Body Works pick up a couple wallflowers run to Target maybe grab a Starbucks and then come home so yeah that's my deal right now hi guys good morning it is sunday it's a new day the last thing you guys heard from me was i was about to go into bath and body works and that me and dan had gotten into an argument but we're still here alive and well alive and well thriving <laughs> um so i figured i'd show you what i got from bath and body works really quickly it's their semi-annual sale so everything is like really affordable um so i picked up a couple things i went in there for wallflowers but their foaming hand soaps were on sale, and Daniel always says he likes foaming hand soaps, so I got a peach, market peach, and a watermelon lemonade. What else? These things for the car were on sale, because they're like holiday, but like, this is so cute to have all the time. Look how cute this is. Beep, beep, beep. I want to clean my car later today. Like vacuum it out if we get home before it's light out still. I don't know if we get home before it's light out. I know. I've been talking oh, about cleaning my car for so long. Cough, cough. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, so these were like, I don't know, do I have the receipt? I don't know, they were like really cheap. Nothing I bought was more than, yeah, they were two bucks. So I got two of them because I like to have the most sense in my car at all times. Um, I got two more little like wallflower plugs because I just want one in every room. And then I got a couple hand sanitizers because they're just good to have in your bag. The sweet cinnamon pumpkin was obviously on sale because it's a fall scent and then twisted peppermint. And then I got just like the wallflower plugins. I got spice apple toddy, which smelled really good. Like a nice homey scent that I feel like is fine all year. And then I got cinnamon swirl cookie or something. Cinnamon caramel swirl, which smells really good in the kitchen. It smells like you literally have cookies baking all the time. So I got two of those. And then I just got the car scents that I like, which are champagne toast. It smells so good. So yeah, that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. Today's plans are we are going to go to Costco. We are going to go grocery shopping. We have to pick up, we just like are out of a lot of stuff for Costco. We need to get like meats and stuff. Um, and then regular grocery shopping for the week. We planned out the recipes we're gonna have this week. We're trying to eat health, healthy and like whole meals with like 
ingredient like good ingredients and just better in general so that's what we did last week that's what we're gonna do this week and yeah we're just gonna go grocery shopping today costco and Shoprite or stop and shop i like Shoprite. dan thinks it's nast he likes stop and shop but like Shoprite's cheaper and if you can save 50 cents why not save the 50 cents that's my thinking what <laughs> yeah Okay, guys, giving an update. Dan found so many yeah, cute clothes. Yeah, I found some awesome jackets, blazers, pants, like he sweaters. Got a, a whole new wardrobe. Shoes. Literally. <laughs> Can you see that back there? So I got him a coat like that for Christmas, but in black, and it was too small. So we got this one, and it looks so good on him. He got a blazer. You can't really see it, but the color... Nice it's brown. so nice and he got like four pairs of dress pants like for work sweaters a whole new pair of shoes from johnson and murphy a belt like he is good to go yeah i'm good i'm solid probably in a couple months can you spring one no just kidding. that was three hours it, we literally were in there for three hours now we're about to go to costco was it three hours yeah because we left around 12. we left a little earlier than that damn it's like three right now mm -hmm. where's where's the time go when you're shopping <laughs> retail therapy we're in Costco <laughs> and we're looking at the echelon we have been like looking at different spin bikes since kind of the gyms I mean I'm not really active but I would love to become a little bit more active Dan is active and since the gyms have closed he's just like noticing that he you know his his fitness is not as good as it used to be so we've been like researching a bunch of different bikes um, to be honest with you, also like weight limits and things like that are a big thing when it comes to spin bikes. A lot of them stop at like 250, 280 pounds and I'm over that. So we were researching them. Um, the Echelon I think goes to 330. So it's like perfect. And I mean it looks nice. So we're looking at it. This is what it looks like. It's the Echelon. 4SX. It's, it's the Costco only version because Costco has like its own line of stuff that they can't sell on the street but it's nice because it it comes with a tablet on it. Right. And it, I think it's pretty much like the 3S but it comes with like a year of like membership classes in the price. So otherwise yeah so otherwise you'd you have know. to pay for that monthly I think it's 30 bucks or yeah, 40 bucks a month. Plus bring your own screen and then yeah, that's like $600 a year just in classes, so. So it, it's saving you a year there. It's, it's pretty good. It's just a nice low impact way to like. Spin bike, a nice yeah. cardio, nice. In case you don't want to go and touch all the exercise equipment at the gym. Right. I'm kind of tempted. Kind of tempted. <laughs> You guys, you guys, that was the coolest thing ever. So I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I, um, you guys remember Mystic Mark and the Night Owls, the Mediums. Um, so he was in touch, <clears throat> he was in touch with Heidi, who's an astrologer, and she just gave us a Sinistry reading and um, a look at our natal charts, which is our birth charts. And oh my God, my mind is blown, blown. blown so much of like my personality and Dan's personality and like our compatibility and like how we get along, how we function, what we do as our careers, like what our purpose, our divine purposes in this world, like all of that is literally written in the stars. It was literally written in the stars that I was going to lose somebody in 2020 and it was a father, like my father energy, like what? It was so cool. It was so, so cool. That was amazing. And she just gave us a two and a half hour Zoom meeting. I didn't want to film it. She filmed it. So I think she's going to send me some of the recordings. Um, so that'll probably be included in like a future video. But oh my God, my mind is freaking blown. If you believe in like astrology and you're interested in like knowing more about your birth chart and like what exactly was happening. It's like, it's like scientific. Like, yeah, there's like a more whole science. Like what you see. And everything into it she was literally telling us that like I don't know it was just it was so cool so 
Um, if you're interested in that, I'll leave her information down below. You guys can check her out. But it was amazing. Like, my mind is literally blown. That was so cool. Anyways, it is now 8.17. And I'm going to make some overnight oats for breakfast this week for us. And we're just going to hang out. I think Dan's going to build that echelon. Fingers crossed he's going to build the echelon because I really want him to. <laughs> Wait, what were your thoughts on the um, on was, Heidi's reading? It was cool. It was um, definitely like it just told us a lot about like things we kind of suspected about ourselves. But like for her to know that as like a stranger, it was just it was kind of like the night owls. Like by simply. It. But she but she, but she, she didn't know us. She, she didn't know like us and she chart. didn't have like a media. She doesn't. I don't know. It was literally, she knew all of this information by us giving her our birth time, our birth day, and our birth place. Yeah, it's not like, I, would, I wouldn't say it's like religious or anything like that. It's literally just like what, you know, what, what was your going sign on is and like what on, your history and like just everything oh, like. It was so cool. Astrally, you know, like as written in like the stars and it was. It was cool because like me and Gabriella really connect and you guys I'm sure will see clips like we really connect like on our same like mindset for work, like, working together and like it creates like that spark. And we have like core our and core values are 100 percent like family and home and you know, yeah and just, they're like in so in tune with each other and like it's so funny because obviously I'm a water sign but like almost everything about me was a water sign. And I'm an air sign so like you wouldn't think we match but like it just there's so much more beyond like the simple sun signs she was saying like you know it just depends like where the moon or where the which house they're in and like yeah they can like drag and influence certain things and like bring things closer together that you know you wouldn't think like i ground gabriella a lot like and i help her kind of keep that balance like and she has like such grand ideas like it's it's true you know I, I i feel like we do do that yeah i definitely so. feel like you ground me for sure you provide stability and like <laughs> me like i feel like i help yeah, you she gives me like love and nurturing and like i i grew up on that you know from my own mom so like i always i've always kind of looked for love that way and like she just has it so it's just it's funny it's funny that it lines up it's just like literally so cool even like so we looked at 2020 as a whole, and we looked at my dad's death day, his, the time of his death, um, and, like, what was going on with the planets at that time, and it was just, like... She was expecting loss. Like, I was expecting a loss this year of my father energy. Yeah. Unexpectedly, like, all of that. It was just and she crazy. Was close to her dad. She's always been close, like, super close to her dad, like, or felt that way, and it's funny because when she was born, she was born at night. So, like, that's... That's father energy. That's when you're in the father energy, you know? Yeah. So... And he was born in the morning. Yeah. Which is mother energy, and she said that... I'm closer to my mom. You know, I, I am, like... And she said that you knew your mom in a past life. Yeah. Me and my mom are very similar, like, workaholics. Like, I just... It was weird for me, like, all... I had so many planets lining up, like, in one... Of the 12 a super houses, stellium super stellium or something and mm -hmm. like that's not really common and it's just like she's like it's basically driven to like be successful through like work and like work ethic and like i feel like that's just been my whole life that's my mom's yeah whole life as well yeah. and i just i feel like we're close that way so it was cool it's cool to see you know all of that i'd love to like see my parents charts and all that you know. oh, my arms going down man <laughs> <laughs> but it was great you it was so cool uh, are you kidding me i'm like mind blown just, right now yeah. i'm just mind blown <laughs> i'm just mind freaking blown it was so cool so it was it was like guys even if you don't want to like book with heidi i mean i'm not saying you have to do that of course but like just take the time to like figure out your what chart. your yeah your sign and your chart is because it truly gives you like an entire perspective into your purpose into your who you are as a person into your core values who you vibe best with like it was so freaking cool it's it's specific like heidi the person that read us had triplets and they were born minutes apart and one each, minute apart each of them and they each have different charts so it's not like with oh, different you're the personalities same day. it's like if you know the time of birth the day like down year, to the minute yeah everything like down to the minute it makes a difference so 
It was so freaking cool. Yeah, it's cool. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna go make some overnight oats, some peanut butter overnight oats. Dan's gonna build this echelon, and I guess we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, we got the bike set up here in the dog slash music slash now gym <laughs> room. Um, so we have it set up here. It's really nice. We got it set up to like our height. Me and Dan are like basically an inch off from each other. So the height is good for the both of us. And it looks really nice. I got on it. It's comfortable. It's a little scary because you just feel like you're gonna like fall off because it's like, I don't know. It's a cycling, uh, not a cycling bike. It's a spin bike. So it just feels like, Yeah, it's just angled forward, but it's good. It, I mean, it feels good. I haven't obviously worked out on it yet. And um, I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. It did shake a little bit when you got the momentum going, but I think I just have to like build confidence with the bike, like keep using it because you know, fat girl problems. Like I don't trust chairs, anything you sit on. So I have to build confidence in this bike that it's not gonna fucking break on a bitch or tip over on a bitch. So yeah, I'll update you guys on it this week because I'll try it tomorrow morning. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm so tired. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I hope you guys have an amazing week ahead. I love you and I'll see you soon.